just got your hands on a brand new Google Pixel 10, Google Pixel 10 Pro or the Google Pixel 10 Pro XL and wondering what are the first things you should do? Well, that is what we're going to cover in this video and without any further delay, let us get down to business. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe down twice from my notification bar, go into settings and once in settings, I'll go into display and turn off dark theme so that it is easier for you to follow these first things to do with your Google Pixel 10 series. The next thing which we're going to do with our Google Pixel 10 Pro is make sure we are running the latest update because out of the box, the Pixel 10 Pro in my case is running Android 16, but the security patch is from July 2025 and we are here in end of August 2025. So to check for security updates on your Pixel 10 Pro, again, we're going to swipe down twice from your notification bar, go into settings and then go into system software updates, system update. As you can see, there is a system update pending, which it was already downloading in the background. So this is what we need to wait for and then restart our Google Pixel 10 Pro so that we are on the latest and the greatest Android security update and do the same thing by going into the Play Store and updating all the applications as well. And there it is, we are now running the August security patch on the Pixel 10 Pro and have a look at that settings page, much more colorful. For the next set of changes or the first things to do when you get your Google Pixel 10 Pro out of the box, we're going to go into settings and then into sound and vibration. Here in spatial audio by default is only enabled for wired headphones. I am going to say, let's go ahead and enable it for the phone speakers as well. Then we will go into vibration and haptics and this is one feature which I really want to enable and that is adaptive vibration by default this is turned off we are going to enable this and this is going to adjust the phone's vibration automatically based on the environment like when it is in your pocket or in a loud place and of course if you're worried about privacy they do tell you that your phone's microphone and other sensors are used to determine sound levels and context no data is ever recorded so we have enabled adaptive vibration next we're going to go back and in the sound and vibration section clear calling by default again is turned off and this reduces background noises during calls so we're going to enable clear calling as well now me personally i do not like the sound of you know dial pad tones i turn this off screen locking sound i turn this off as well charging sounds and vibration again personal preference i like to keep all of these off but the last option is one of those which i always like to enable right now my pixel 10 pro is in vibrate mode but if i look at the phone i cannot tell that because there is no notification but once i enable this toggle look up here you are going to get an icon in your notification bar which tells you that the pixel 10 pro is in vibrate mode for the next set of first things to do with your Google Pixel 10 Pro, we are going to go into notification settings. And herein, I'm not sure why notification history is disabled out of the box, but in case you want to see any app notification which you might have missed, then yes, the Pixel 10 Pro does have the feature of notification history, which I think you should enable. Still in the notification settings, another awesome feature which I personally like to enable is allow notification snoozing again not sure why Google has disabled this out of the box and once you have enabled notification snoozing you see this down arrow beside this notification tap on that we're getting the option to snooze it and we've snoozed it for one hour we tap on one hour you can change the duration to 15 minutes 30 minutes or two hours for our next set of first things to do with your Google Pixel 10 Pro, we are going to head into display and touch settings and we're going to go into lock screen. Here in the first thing which we need to customize is your lock screen shortcuts. So you can say the left shortcut, I want it to be flashlight, the right one, let us say I want it to be the camera. We can apply that and now, bam, here it is. Look at my lock screen on the left, I have torch, on the right, I have camera. Back into lock screen settings, now playing is another feature which I think you should enable because you know you are out and about, you hear some music, you like it, you are wondering what song that is. Well, if you have enabled this with AI, Android system intelligence, now 
you are going to see whatever that song is on your lock screen. Then you can also decide whether you want tap to check phone, lift to check phone, and if you want to wake your screen for new notifications or not. We will go back into the main settings of display and touch. And in case you want to switch back to the three button navigation, this is where you're going to do it. But we are going to scroll down and look for screen resolution out of the box screen resolution on the pixel 10 pro is set to high we are going to set it to max so that we are able to get the best viewing experience from the google pixel 10 pro and before i forget another thing which i generally change is go into screen timeout and here and enable screen attention and once you enable this if you're looking at the display or the screen of the pixel 10 pro it is not going to go into sleep mode or turn off based on the screen timeout which you have set. Another option which I like to change in the display settings is auto rotate screen. Out of the box this is disabled but once you enable this and enable the toggle for face detection the phone is going to automatically adjust the screen orientation when you move your phone between portrait and landscape and that I think is a very awesome feature next set of first things to do with your pixel 10 pro is go into the battery settings and here in again i'm not sure why they have disabled battery percentage out of the box i need to know what the battery percentage is so i always enable battery percentage and then if you have a bunch of pixel devices like say the google pixel the pixel birds if you have pixel watch then you can also add this widget to your home screen and that is going to show you the battery status across various pixel devices. Now another pro tip which I have for you is in the security settings when you're setting up your pen make sure you set it up to be of six characters minimum because if it is a minimum of six digits or six characters then you get the option of auto confirm pin so as soon as you enter the correct pin on your lock screen the device is going to automatically unlock without you having to press the check mark or the enter key for our next set of first things to do with your google pixel 10 pro we're going to go into settings and then we're going to go into system settings herein we're going to go into navigation mode and if gesture navigation is enabled tap on that gear icon and we're going to say swipe to invoke assistant and now if i swipe from either the bottom right or the bottom left i should be able to work or talk to gemini and this also means that we can now remap the power button because if I press the power button right now, you can see Gemini is in action and we can actually change that. So to do that, we are in settings, system, go into gestures, here in press and hold the power button for the power menu and bam, here it is. We are now at the power menu when we press the power button and again to invoke or use google assistant or gemini swipe from either the bottom right or the bottom left another cool feature which you can find in your gesture settings is quick tap to perform an action out of the box this is disabled but once you enable this and now here it is if i tap on the back bam here it is this should take a screenshot there it is it is finally working and i know it's been a few years since this has been an issue with the pixel devices but google doesn't really seem to care about fixing it another thing you can change here in the gesture settings is to enable flip to shh and once you enable this feature to turn on do not disturb all you have to do is place your device face down on a flat surface you are going to feel a subtle vibration when do not disturb turns on our last first thing to do with your google pixel 10 pixel 10 pro or the google pixel 10 pro xl is if you choose to do so opt out of the arbitration agreement as soon as you bought or turned on your google pixel 10 10 pro 10 pro xl you entered into an arbitration agreement with google which means you cannot participate in lawsuits or if you want to sue google for something you cannot do that to opt out of the arbitration agreement all you have to do is you have to go to this website and opt out using your device's serial number you have only 30 days to opt out of this arbitration agreement 
And there it is, peeps. Those are the first few things which I do with my Google Pixel 10, Google Pixel 10 Pro or the Google Pixel 10 Pro XL as soon as I took it out of the box. If there's a feature which you think I missed out on, please mention it in the comments on this video.